Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. <laughs> You're welcome. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Um, did you have a nice uh, week? Yes, I had. It was good. good. Today also, I had a lot of things to do because mm. today is Friday, so we actually have Friday prayers, so which is a congregational prayer. We have mm. to gather in a big mosque and there mm. we pray. So after that, uh, I took lunch and right now I'm uh, cooking. I have put it oh, nice. in the kitchen and now I'm <laughs> Oh, I see. Oh, what are you making? I'm cooking veg vegetable today. Oh, I see. So are you vegetarian or do you just like vegetables? No, I'm not. Uh, mm -hmm. Actually, I uh, eat a lot of meat. and uh, mm -hmm. But now I'm just trying to keep myself away from meat because it is not good to have mm -hmm. uh, meat in large quantity. So mm -hmm. now I'm I'm just trying to change my diet. And, oh, I see. Uh, yes, and uh, I'm also abstaining from sugary food. Oh wow! Yes. Oh. how is it going? Do you feel healthier already? Uh, it has been only a week. Oh, I see. Uh, but so far. Uh, I have been able to control myself, but mm -hmm. I don't know what will happen in the future. Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm sure if you have a strong mindset, you'll be able to keep it. Exactly. Okay. But you know, oh, wow. the, the most important thing is diet. So I have fear from my diet because I'm a kind of person who is uh, very fond of eating sweet dish and sugary mm. food. So it is mm. uh, really a very hard challenge or you can say a Herculean task for me to keep yes. myself away from all those food. Mm. Yes, I think some people have said that you can get addicted to sugar. Yes. I think that's true. Exactly. And mm. I have been eating sugar for, uh, I mean, since my childhood. And, uh, mm. But I have seen my parents, uh, my parents mm. passed away because of these diseases. Uh, in fact, mm. they had multiple diseases. They had diabetes first. Mm, and see. this diabetes actually spoiled everything inside their body, their eyes, their Livers, their lungs, their mm. blood pressure, heart. So when I think about them, so mm. it gives me a sort of motivation that no, I'm not going to die like that. Yes. So it is very difficult. I mean, uh, my mother was hospitalized for two months before she died. Mm. And uh, that was a very hard time for us. Yes, of course. So she she was also having dialysis. She mm. had heart problem. She had eyes problem. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, yes, no. and I always uh, I will always wondered that why uh, do we have these illness? Even when I used to go with my mother mm -hmm. uh, for her appointment with the doctor, I always mm. eager to ask the doctor that what is the problem? How can we prevent this illness happening? Because the doctor always prescribed the medicines, but I, it was always in my mind that how can we prevent all these diseases? Mm. So one year back, I uh, mm -hmm. came across a book what, of the book was How Not to Die. Oh. So, Yes, so uh, it tells about how can you prevent 15 world most uh, death-causing diseases mm. by only uh, focus on your diet. So, oh, so 
it was in my mind that i would also try to uh, have uh, this kind of diet mm-hmm. so from on i mean last week i have started doing it although in the breakfast i changed my breakfast uh, i have been mm-hmm. eating oatmeal in breakfast for last uh, one year oh so now yes but my mm-hmm. lunch and dinner was the normal one because uh, mm-hmm. in our tradition and pakistani culture mm-hmm. we have a lot of oil in our cuisine pakistani mm-hmm. cuisine oh, i see we have spice spice mm-hmm. so we usually like to eat meat more so mm-hmm. it is very difficult and even when we have to go to our i mean to attend the feast or any grand function mm-hmm. or even for example when i went to pakistan mm-hmm. so everyone was asking me to come or inviting me yes so whenever, whenever i uh, went there there was also all uh, these kind of dishes mm. so it is very difficult being in pakistan it is very difficult to abstain uh, from all these things mm. it, yes here we are in our control here we can control things mm. because we do not have any relative over here oh yes i would eat to make a huge meal and feed you <laughs> <laughs> good oh i see do you think uh, there's enough education in pakistan about food and diet oh uh, it is not and uh, even those people who know it mm-hmm. they uh, do not want to adopt good healthy food mm. because they want to have all those processed food yeah. and oily and spicy food that's all mm. oh, i see 